Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all here today to officially launch the 15th South Dublin County Council Social Inclusion Festival, Building Sustainable Friendships. This year has seen unprecedented times for all our citizens, and especially those who may be at risk of social exclusion. With level five COVID-19 restrictions currently in place, it has never been more important to stay connected with all our community groups and to continue to provide assistance and support. This ties in with the recent announcement of the launch of the national Keep Well campaign, which aims to support people and communities to mind their physical and mental health over the coming months. It is with great effort that we have continued to work to deliver as many virtual events for this year's festival, highlighting the positive work carried out by this council to promote social inclusion. We strive to build positive, healthy communities in our county. The festival provides us with an opportunity to develop a sense of health, well-being and inclusion for all members of our communities. We endeavour to create new links and continue existing links with all the groups identified as being at greater risk of social exclusion, such as older people, ethnic minorities, disabled people, women, children and young people, travellers and members of the LGBTIQ plus community. Creating social inclusion at national and local level requires each one of us to reflect on our own inner prejudices and tendencies to stereotype individuals and groups within our communities. Society today is more diverse than ever, and we all have a part to play in creating a rich and inclusive social and cultural life in South Dublin. The Social Inclusion Festival is a declaration of intent and recognition that everyone has a part to play in the community. This festival is an opportunity to share with a broader audience the ongoing work of our Social Inclusion Unit and doing this through the various events and activities organised for the festival. Social inclusion initiatives reach into the heart of our community and weave the fabric of healthy, tolerant and inclusive society. The achievement of any individual's full potential must be rooted in a sense of acceptance and belonging. We aim to create healthy, vibrant, caring communities that sustain and enrich our daily lives. Building on the success of previous festivals and following a review by the Social e Community and Equality SPC, the emphasis this year is to refocus on broadening participation and to engage directly with target groups who have not participated in previous festivals. One such group identified is the LGBTI plus community in South Dublin. We hope to establish an independent South Dublin LGBTI plus network group that will link together the various supports available in the county. The network may also be involved in bringing forward the voice of that community through local democracy structures. This will be supported and facilitated by our partners in this action, South Dublin Public Participation Network. As previously mentioned, there is an exciting programme of events scheduled for the festival ahead. Our guest speaker for today to mark the launch is Riyad Khalaf. Riyad is a TV and radio broadcaster, author, online video creator, podcast host, public speaker, and LGBTQ plus activist. Riyad was crowned Celebrity MasterChef Champion in 2020 after impressing the judges with his show-stopping culinary creations. He managed to beat 19 other well-known faces to victory. You can view his recorded address at various intervals throughout the day, and I want to personally thank Riyad for his participation in this year's festival. Our events in the week ahead will include inclusive participation, our stories, chair yoga online workshops, inclusive horse riding, cooking on a budget with Mama Najis, social inclusion friendship and kindness drawing arts competition, celebration through the performing arts, and floristry workshops as well as lots more. I wish to acknowledge the dedication and hard work of all those involved in putting together this program of interesting and informative activities for the Social Inclusion Festival. In particular, Adrian Maloney, Don O'Reilly, Rachel Kyo, Kathy Purdy, Administrative Officer, Brian Hora, Senior Executive Officer, Colin Ward, Director of Services, and staff of the Community Services and Libraries Department. I wish them well in their work for the coming year and assure them of my continuing support in all their endeavours in social inclusion. Finally, on behalf of the Social Inclusion Unit, I wish to thank all the individuals, community
community centres and organisations who are taking part in this year's festival. I, th I think it is fair to say, without them, these events would not take place. We have made it our priority to put as much of the resources available to us back into the community as much as possible, and I hope that this is reflected in this year's event. Thank you all very much. Thank you.